Ladies and gentlemen, Kaiser here, and welcome back to our Julius Caesar campaign for Rome at War. Today we're going to be tackling Episode 2, Crossing the Rhine, Alia Iacta Est. Uh, I have read the comments, and from here on out, we're going to be playing the scenarios in hard difficulty. So let's go! While Caesar made allies and vassals out of the Gallic tribes, the Swabi across the Rhine began to muster their armies in the dark forests of Germania. When they were called into Gaul by the Sequani tribe, Caesar knew he had to act quickly. The Roman Senate had declared Ariovistus, king of the Swabi, to be a friend of Rome. But no true friend of Rome would ever come so close to taking land belonging to the Republic. To protect the tribes of Gaul from this northern threat, Caesar marched to battle with the Germanic scourge. However, Ariovistus was a wily tactician and managed to corner the Roman army. It would not be long before Julius Caesar ran out of supplies. Caesar, the barbarian king wishes to speak with you without the presence of other Romans. We will guard the camp against any attacks. Okay, it looks like Ariovistus is right there. We have two and a half minutes to get Caesar over. And we're Caesar. Nice tribute. Let's really quickly, before I go through the menu, uh, or, or go through the game, let's look at our objectives really quickly. The initial TC must not be destroyed. Bring Julius Caesar to meet Ariovistus without any other troops. Caesar's legions are limited to the Castle Age, Middle Antiquity Age, and 100 pop. Julius Caesar, deadly melee fighter, increases the attack speed of nearby legionaries. Quaestor slowly heals legionaries, and the tribunes make them move faster. The longer you wait for Labienus to arrive, the larger his army will be. Okay. Oh. The part of their natural food. The ice on the river Rhine. The construction of ships. The Roman camps are running low on supplies, and will soon exhaust the sources nearby. Okay, good to know. All right. Julius Caesar trapped near the. Okay, his legions do not strike out to screw more resources. Titus Labienus is one of Caesar's high-ranking officers. He's rallying an army to relieve the siege Romans. Roman engineers are attached to Caesar's army to construct advanced Roman infrastructure. Okay. Ariovistus, king of the Suebi. His infantry cav archers are busy besieging Caesar. Okay, so he's not going to be a good guy for long. Five Suebi towns exist on the other side of the Rhine. A variety of Germanic units guard these towns. Huh. The Nervii are one of the Gallic tribes scheming behind Caesar's back. Conflict with them is inevitable. All right. Let's queue up some bills, and we'll put them on berries. There's Caesar. Let's talk. So the mighty Julius Caesar stands before me. <laughs> no doubt you quake in your boots looking at the true king of a glorious army. Caesar acts in the service of Rome. The incursions of the Suebi against the Aedui are an attack on the friends of the Republic. So I'm the villain here? You Romans are conquerors as well. 
Adri were the ones to declare war first. Their land is ours, by right of blood. Caesar's legions will not tolerate this. The Swaby will fall on the battlefield, and their king will number among the dead. The Romans have yes. betrayed us! Quickly, kill the leader before he can escape! The morale of Caesar's legions is low. If the commanding officers fight on the front lines, they will inspire the men in battle. Stop, stop. All right, we are winning this. Scorpions. I need to build scorpions. If you remember, the Roman Republic is built up here. I went on offense against the uh, the audio beast, just, but that might have been a mistake. Caesar's legions are slowly starving, while the barbarians only become more powerful. Caesar has to try for an innovative masterstroke to change this and save his campaign. Yeah, yeah, we do. I'm in trouble right now. Construct a fort and flag area to secure more resources. Uh, okay, so about that. So I, I feel like I'm helping myself by clearing out this camp. But uh, things just get harder and harder over here. Because I don't have anybody on food. Uh, we're not doing so hot. 13 bills. Where are you guys at? Yeah. I 
don't have any snow at all. Do I even see stone on the map? Oh, I can't build farms. Ah. Oh. Maybe if these the infantry might die. Ah, they they keep pouring in. Oh, uh, this is the, the jankest way of doing this, but man, I've got to try to thin these guys out. What believe? I believe actually this is working. And you know it's only now that I'm doing this whole loopy loop thing that I actually see I do have stone right there. So, you know. That's a nice one for us. Okay, that's good. And there's stone right there too. What am I talking about? There's plenty of There's resources galore. All right, we're now playing a really difficult defensive game. And hope that maybe, just maybe, we can piece this back together. Another one. Ah, you're annoying. Okay. So we do need gold. But I want to try to get that castle. I think that this playthrough that I'm doing right here will live or die on the grounds whether or not I can actually get that castle up. If I can, I think we're in a good spot. If I can't, then it's GG. Let's try again. Unfortunately, our hero units seem to be pretty strong. They've got a lot of HP, they generate HP. They have a tank in this too, though. Ah, it's getting, getting goofy. We pull back in. Ein 
Okay. I actually think we're good. I think that we maybe weather the worst of this. Now the hard part for me is then figuring out, at this stage in the game, I'm so focused in on the actual battle and trying to stay alive. It's hard. It is really hard, guys, to play a strategy game and comment at the same time. To make a video interesting, you know? Okay, so we're gonna try we're gonna go in and fingers crossed that we can make that work. Hopefully I have to time it just right, but I think I can make it happen. I'm bringing these guys in because I want to make sure they intercept any troubles that we might run into. I think if this castle goes up, we'll be in a much better situation because they don't seem to have any siege. Um, I'll need to make sure that I have murder holes. Without murder holes. Did I just lose one of my heroes? This fort established and more resources secured. Now Caesar's we're legions good. need only destroy the sweepy baggage train. castle oh my goodness so remember that whole thing about you know yeah we've got this covered run girl you can make it all right they actually will attack the castle which is good that's what i want uh looks like Bunch of ore. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, we will be able to replenish our forces. Salve. I'm doing decently well on food, or on wood. Gotta get some food up. Good stuff. Alright. I'm gonna send you guys out there. Good. Yeah, now we're just now we're just blowing up green. He does not know how to deal with so many swavy. Are these guys not just I'm trying to take advantage of the deer, you know? But instead, I'm just getting blown up by the Swaby, who don't mind sacrificing their limitless hordes of units straight into my villagers. Ah, it's annoying.
thing that gets me, I, I don't know how um, Conker has like any of these campaign guys. I'm pretty sure it's Conker's like a one-man project, but uh, regardless, I, I'm not sure how he's programmed it, but it would not surprise me if these were limitless. Uh, oh, that's real awesome. If these were limitless uh, constructions and the barracks are just constantly producing army. That would not spread. Now I need, yeah, gold. I need gold and I need food in order to get up more legionaries. Unless, maybe the thought process, actually, considering I have an easier time getting up uh, wood and gold, I should consider scorpions as my main play here. Hopefully I have one of those. collect wood pretty easily. Got easy access to wood. Uh, I have plenty of gold. Food is sort of a rare resource for me right now. So I don't want to go with my legionary force, which I normally would. Uh, a little bit here in the war in base. Is fish out there? But I can't build a dock. Never mind. So I lost my place. Okay. Mm. Once you get up a high enough mass of scorpions, then. There we go, the scorpion's doing the putting in some work, I think. I like the front line of these Praetorians. But then behind that.
Audio. 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 Destroy five dead. Okay, has that objective been here for a while? <laughs> it's the first time I've noticed it. If I get it up enough, a high enough mass of scorpions, I think I can take on everything. But see, that's that's what I'm wondering as I do this. Like, is this engaging gameplay? I guess you guys get to watch me survive the uh, un the unending mass of swaying. That's got to be at least a little bit. But I'll admit, guys, in a little bit of honesty, I mean, I, I always have a little bit of insecurity when it comes to trying out these new this new way of playing games, you know, uh, uh, single player campaigns. I think the way that I play against AI, which is the way that many of us play against AI, if we're honest, uh, it's very defensive, kind of try to build up castles and then get an unstoppable force going, right? And I don't know if that makes the funnest videos. Okay, priority target here are the archery ranges. So I shut those down. I don't think they'll rebuild. The thing is, they only seem to build cav archers and infantry. If I take out both of those, like if I, if I get enough scorpions, they can deal with both of those units. And then he's not really building mangonel or monks, knights, so I think I'll actually have an edge on him. Scorpions so good. Let's talk about that. Well, for one, the scorpions fire 50% faster. I can also, well, in the Imperial Age, I think I can make it better. All right. No, is that it? Is this the fire faster? The Empire also has several bonuses. I might be getting too big stuff. But yeah, faster firing scorpions by itself is a huge bonus. I mean, we can see we're melting structures way faster than we otherwise would. Actually, have a little bit of food because of all the fish. Let's see if with this. Okay, nice, 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 nice. I believe these three archer ranges were where most of those cav archers were coming from. If I 
take them out, I'm feeling pretty happy. Do I have more gold? Alright, at least this phase of the campaign, the mission is starting to feel a lot more doable. Wow, these have a lot of HP. I don't think that uh, the mule carts have that much HP. And, and now, credit where it's due. The, um, the Roman War team put in the Deshberg wagons long before the mule carts made their way to Navy. They, of course, will return, I'm sure, inspired by Catholic, but still. It's one of my favorite things about this mod is the experimental aspect. Um, okay, I need to seven of you guys pop down a mill and grab some wild <laughs> I really enjoy the experimental aspect of this mod and how they really push the boundaries. Like something that, as of this recording, we have yet to see in... Uh, I believe they did the Legionary, was it before the Ratha? I don't remember which came first, the Ratha or the Legionary. But the idea of this infantry unit that can switch between the Pilum and the Gladius, the, the javelin and the spear, that's really awesome. Yeah, we've entered into the stage where all of a sudden this is feeling a lot easier. Now, I don't know, the Swaby might just be round one of our opponents. And I've got a whole new strategy to deal with, uh, you know, like the Nervi or something like that. We got three wagons down. Where are the rest? Uh, are they over here? They might be over here by this other town center. Oh, wait, there's one right there. There's one there. And is there a fifth one? Look at how this one unit is dodging every last shot. So I destroyed a TC there, but I don't know. I see a wagon. Wagons over here. Salve, press Salve. Salve. Condo, 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 Salve. All right. Caeto. They have rebuilt archer ranges, haven't they? They're, yeah, they have, and they're actually ah. Uh... So no, I would I would guess that they're not programmed to automatically spawn in, because typically, at least in the vanilla campaigns, whenever they do that, they don't rebuild. Who knows, maybe destroying the last wagon will hand over control of the whole base and villagers and Supply wagons have been destroyed. We are lost. Hey, look at that. Retreat. There we go. All right. Retreat. 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 
Okay, so that that's good. With Ariovistus crushed, Caesar's legions should further prove the might of Rome. His engineers can now gather resources to bridge the Rhine, and the march into Germania shall begin. Some of you might wonder, uh, why is it that Julius Caesar is talking in the third person? I mean, doesn't that seem a little weird? Well, Julius Caesar actually wrote about his exploits in Gaul. And uh, it's like one of our more famous, what do I want to say, books uh, from the Roman period, right? It's Julius Caesar's Conquest of Gaul. And he actually spoke just like that in the third person, in, in the book. He would always say, Julius Caesar did this, Julius Caesar did that. And the reason why was because he had a, um, he had a political angle to what he was doing. He wanted to make sure everybody knew, I accomplished this, I am the superstar that made this happen. And for him, uh, let me see if there's any, any other resources I want to be able to claim. If we're out of gold and stone, I don't see any more. For right now, oh, wait a minute, hey, let's do that. Uh, let's get up some of the Praetorian Guard. I like them. That they, they make a good front line. Okay. But he uh, he would always speak in the we third person. We are ready to begin constructing the bridge. But we will need to be protected from any enemy raiders. Good stuff. All right. Wolves. How much you want to bet I gotta kill these wolves? So they don't mess with. Guys, very briefly. Good stuff. There we go. Hey, there's some gold. Oh, good. Salve. Reficio, 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 reficio. Condo. Fine. Not able to build another town center. You know what I probably should do? Because it says here the initial TC must not be destroyed. I sure hope that I don't get hit with some kind of surprise attack on my main base. The Swaby are attacking the engineers. Defend them at all costs or the bridge won't be completed. Both sides. Oh, man. Hopefully our scorpions are sufficient. I think they will be. We did not lose an, an engineer's soul there. Actually, I don't think we lost anybody. Good, good. Oh, no, that's a threat. Alright, okay, good. We, we played that correctly. <laughs> I think we handled that decently well. That's the perfect choke point. Let my scorpions do their thing. Yes. Okay, we're gonna lose some guys here, but this work. Yeah, there we go. Still have 20 scorpions. The bridge is complete. Caesar's legions should raise several of the Suebi towns to demonstrate the might of Rome. Yeah, I kind of let myself get sloppy there. Uh, okay. Raise several Suebi towns. Okay. 
let's hope that what we just had there... Um, put you guys there. I I'm going to keep them back, mask them up. Because I don't want them to get picked off by accident. I I've done that part of the time. The Swaby. Oh, okay, I see the yeah, controlling group. Can we maybe... Can we pull that group apart? That would actually be the best. See, this is another example of what I'm talking about when it comes to my concerns with single player. The thing that I would imagine viewers would want to see are massive battles where I just build up a huge force and throw them into the enemy. But the way that I prefer to play a situation like this is to try to pick them off if I can. If I can play it right and I can get some of the units. Uh, why are you guys over here? No. Oh. Okay, wait, we, we might have... Uh? Over by half. Okay, there we go. Never mind. We'll deal with this patrolling force first. Nice shots. Nice shots. And then we'll pick this one off over here, and then we'll raid this now. Guys, but we need you yeah. yeah, giving my legionaries extra armor fits perfectly into the comp that I'm holding here. Where I I'm really not relying on the legionaries to do damage, they are my front line to absorb hits. So, let's do no. They're gonna garrison this DC. So I should be able to go under it. I'm very relieved that our food situation here is relaxed, especially now that we are raiding. Build a monastery. I can. Can I maybe get out a couple of monks just to heal up the army that I've got? Because when resources are tight like this, I would much rather preserve the army that I have rather than just lose them and get new ones. Um, let's see. Scorpions are all built. Yeah, so I, I had several commenters let me know, hey, Kaiser, so why don't you play the, the stages on hard mode? Uh, you know, it'll be more intense, a more interesting fight, uh, you know, more interesting views. And I get the logic. That's why I'm playing it on hard. But here was sort of the, oh, hey, real quick, let me see if I can possibly get a shot off on these guys. Hopefully, I know I'm going to lose scorpions, but hopefully not too many. Okay, I think we lost one there. That wasn't bad. I did not mean to do that. Uh, 
good. All right, that that works for us. If I want to minimize damage, I should send the legionaries in for the uh, school. All right. So I was thinking, yeah, that, that, that might make for more interesting video. But on the flip side, I get so focused in on actually just navigating these strange challenges. It's it's so different from playing the multiplayer version of the game. Um, that I'm afraid it's not going to be this common. I am also forgetting that I should be fighting with my officers in order to get bonus uh, bonuses. But that hasn't really proved necessary to my scorpion and everything. Not to mention, aren't the officers for the uh, the legionaries? If I'm not mistaken. Scorpion's doing the job. Let's get him over here, and then we can blow some stuff up. 200 gold, I'll take it. It's just that they're so perfectly aligned. I want to get off the perfect shot, right? Here we go. Three, two, one. Yeah, just look at them funny and they die. Alright, what do we have? Uh, you guys can now go over here, collect that gold, I think. I don't know if the Swaby are actually building anything. Do I see any more stone on the map? I don't know that I do. I'm afraid about... There's stone right there. All right. So guess what that means. I am going to, just in case... Because if I lose this town center, it's GG. I'm going to build a castle right there. I don't think I'm going to need it. But... I can't help myself. Two Swaby TCs destroyed. One to go. What do you think you're doing? It's so funny how they're not even really reacting to the scorpions. Now we're cooking. Alright, that was our third Sway BTC, right? Caesar, yeah. our scouts say that the Nevii are mustering for a rebellion back in Gaul. If we destroy their fort, they will learn their place. Okay. So, we probably need to back up here. What I should do... I've got a very slow-moving army. I should... Step one. Pull them back. So that we can uh, prepare to deal with whatever this is. Or oh, wait a minute. Or oh, wait, 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 wait. Do I need to keep going? Do I need to keep going in this direction in order to get around? I don't know the answer to that. We're gonna find out. Here's what we're gonna do. Step one. All right, we're gonna build a stable. Uh, 
I already have one. Let's get out some scouts. We'll see what we do. Next. Oh, okay, that could have been worse, but still, I don't like losing my guys. A lot of resources up here. I'm definitely no longer feeling the punch uh, when it comes to you know, resources. No, I'm not feeling the hurt. Thousands of two gold stone and five of them. Okay, scout. Uh, you two. I want you to look that way. I should also take the time to build some forward. Let's build some forward bases so that if I need to replenish, I don't need to do it halfway across the map. Uncovered some good weapons from the ashes of this Swaby town. Good weapons. Blast furnace research. All right. I wonder if destroying that town will give me anything. So at some point we're gonna run into the. Podio. 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 Bet you right around this bridge is where, oh, okay. Let's see if I can build a castle. Don't know if I can actually build a castle there and get away with it. I think that is a, a Nervii ambush. Forget about destroying their town. We must hold them off until Labienus can arrive with the I'm forces sorry, he's been what? gathering. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Salve. Massing units is that what's happening? Yeah, okay, I see. I see the situation. Okay, so our response to that is he has to come through this gate right here. We're going to build a castle on that choke point. 
And I don't believe there's any other way out. And now you all died, it's as simple as that. As long as he doesn't try to break in from up there. I am gathering my army as fast as possible, my general. However, if you need my forces urgently, I will try to aid you in the service of the Republic. Nah. The longer we wait, the larger the army. That's what we're letting him So, we are going to let him... We're going to let him cook, as they say nowadays. This equipment is remarkably sophisticated for something made by barbarians. Advanced weaponry. That's like uh, our chemistry. Okay, good stuff. And that is exactly what we want. How much want to bet that Labienus arrives with Imperial Age units like Treb or something? Presto. Impero. You two are kind of just stuck, aren't you? Correctus. Correctus. Okay. Presto. Impero. Ai, ai, ai. We will clear the path. So Labiana shows up and is like, why, why do I even have to be here? You've already done all the work. That's the game. I need to. Let's not scout out with our villagers. I feel like that would be a mistake. Shh. 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 
Maestro. Sai, Sane. Ein, Sai, Ago. Sane. Presto. Commita. Praetorians. Ein, Forgo. Doing their part. All right. Seeing no issues, right? Uh, the Praetorians are anti infantry, and our barbarian foes here really like our infantry, so we should be in a good spot. Scorpions, of course, only further. Whoa! Okay. I wonder if that's because I blocked the bridge. I am not disappointed that those guys didn't make it. I have a little more for my scorpions though. Hold on now, don't. Guys, we might need I might need y'all to pull back and focus on those those battering rams. Ugh, let's pull back. Let's pull back. My army has assembled, my general. We shall crush these barbarians for the Republic. Okay. Yes. Come on in. The water's fine. I lost all of my scorpions, wow. But, on the flip side, he's losing all of his guys. I'm not bad. Probably should not build a castle until after we've cleared out all the siege rams. That would, that would make sense in my book. Uh, let's see. I think what I should do now over here, Minato, Minato. claim those guys, and then over Minato. here, Minato. claim Minato. these guys, Babu. 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 and then over here, Minato. claim Minato. those, Minato. and that should deal with my food problem. Alright, what I should probably I, I, I gotta figure out whether these are constantly spawning in. Or if I clear them out once and good. I'm hoping it's the latter. Uh, are they, uh. Yeah, a bunch of these. Yeah, they're getting cleared out. Which makes sense. Retreat! Hold the bridge! Scorpions are amazing at defending bridges. Yeah, no. Alright.
there's such a thing as too many Scorpios. No. Okay. Uh, you guys, what are y'all up to? Condo. More gold. We need more gold, my liege. Alright, at this point, I... Barbarians have wounded me, my general. I bleed for the Republic, but I'm not dead. Alright, I think at this point we've probably cleared out the base. And that means, you know what I'm gonna do with you guys? We have crushed the Nervii in the field, my general. Yeah. We should destroy their town for the Republic. I have secured us siege weapons for this very purpose. Yes. Okay. Salve. Presto. Well, I kind of wanted to build a castle. There. But you know what? I can't do it. It's too far away. So, what we'll do... We will build a castle, I think, right here, just as a... Just in case. Okay. Yeah, we are in the final stages of this thing. Big mistakes, big mistakes. Yes, I could build spearmen and No, I'm not going to. My I rely on my army of scorpions. Caesar is injured. His wounds must be allowed to heal before he can rejoin the battle. Come on, guys. Come on. I'm relying on the scorpions here. Guys, up here, up here. 
We're gonna build. We're gonna build a castle there. Build a couple of siege workshops there. I am running low on gold. Not because I'm out of gold. That's not true. I'm running kind of low on it. <clears throat> I shouldn't. I shouldn't. But I will. Alright, we do have access to speeding up a time so we can move a little faster. Scorpions are in position, and the enemy hopefully has exhausted his defensive units. So. I can do any damage to the onagers or if Completionist in me is going to go ahead and clear all the towers. Uh, I, I 
and then we will bring this thing to an end. Yep, we got some in the bag. Rebels have broken. The forces run for the forests and swamps. Gaul truly belongs to Caesar now. With his soldiers dying of cold and hunger, Caesar knew he had to act. Gathering his commanding officers, he ordered them to fight alongside the men. The Roman leadership would live and die beside the legionaries. Caesar drastically improved morale this way. And by constructing a fort in the very face of the Swaby, secure the supplies the legions needed to keep fighting. Eventually, the Romans broke the Swaby lines and captured their baggage train, leaving the enemy in disarray. As a show of force, Julius Caesar had his engineers bridge the Rhine River and destroyed numerous Germanic towns. However, as one enemy fell, another rose. Discontent with the glory of Rome, the Nervii in Gaul had begun an uprising. Like those that rebelled before them, the Nervii were crushed. The Gauls might still live in their lands, but now Rome ruled them. And there it is. Episode 2, in the can. That was a fun mission. There were a lot of really cool things going on in Crossing the Rhine. I liked that a lot. Um, definitely, I think, Scorpions were the right call there uh, for that match. There was an aspect I didn't really play with a lot, where if you used your officers in battle, uh, your, um, your legionaries would become stronger. Uh, that was kind of the aspect of the morale element. But I didn't get to use that a lot, because for me... Infantry ended up being, I don't think, the best play. Scorpions yeah, worked a lot better, it seemed to me. So, uh, Anyway, that was really fun. Episode 2, Crossing the Rhine in the can. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. If you did, like the video. Let me know in the comments below that you want to see more. We will be going through this campaign the whole way through. But I'm keeping my ear to the ground on future campaigns. Do you want to see more campaigns from Iron Kaiser Gaming? If you do, let me know. Consider subscribing to the channel. For now... This is the Iron Kaiser, signing off. Have a great one, guys.